Wallace Short has come home after 10 years in Britain, along with his wife and their two daughters, who were born in London. Hello. And then Jessie had the brown pot. They still look at videos of their old home, but none of them regret coming back to South Africa. <laughs> that was our small garden in London, eh? Hey? Oh, the whole trampoline fitted in the back garden. Now there's a bit more space for the trampoline. There's sunshine almost every day. And their house is a far cry from the 75 square metres they occupied in London. London was very good to us, but um, it was never home. You know, it was never the same quality of life that you would be able to have here. And we, um, we love being home. They're among the growing numbers of South Africans who've moved home in recent years. There's even a website to help with the move, offering practical advice on how to find a house or a job. After the end of apartheid, around 800,000 white South Africans left the country over 10 years. That was about one in every five whites. More recently, the brain drain has spread across the population, whites, blacks, Indians, and everyone in between. The idea for the website is to convince them to come home. Our aim is to focus on the scarce skills in South Africa. So your doctors and nurses, accountants, IT professionals, um, all, all the industries where we really need expertise, we need leadership and we need strong international skills to come home and create jobs and help grow the economy. Wallace Short fits the bill. As an IT engineer, he quickly found a job in a local company. Some whites worry about Black Economic Empowerment, or BEE, an affirmative action program that favours people who were historically disadvantaged. I was really pretty confident that I would get a job, even though there was BEE available. I mean, BEE is, a, is, is a, an option. The thing is, though, with, with the technical side, you cannot fill those positions with BEE candidates if they don't have the experience. Real estate agents say the trend is growing. The number of people selling their homes because they're emigrating is at an all-time low. That's partly because South Africa's political stability and economic growth are more attractive when America and Europe are struggling. We know Europe is in trouble. Uh, the U United States economy is weak as well. So a large part of the global economy to where people often immigrate from South Africa is not performing well. Job prospects aren't good. Uh, and I think that that too is, 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 is slowing the immigration rate. Wallace Short is rebuilding a house and a life in South Africa. He doesn't plan to leave, and he tells that to all his South African friends, still living under London's grey skies.